All right, let's get a new product so okay, we can have some time new, for questions. New, 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 new product time. Okay. New products. That's the new, the new product. Coffee. New products, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, first up, it's a cable. It's a cable. This is not so exciting. It's just a six foot long, 3.5 millimeter audio cable. We're going to be doing more audio projects, so we wanted to have this cable. Yeah. Great. Okay. Works with wave shield. Works Next with up, my popular request. A giant battery. Yeah. Oh, look at this thing. With an on-off massive. switch too. Yeah, this is huge. So I have showed on the overhead too. Yeah. How much? How much power can this deliver? This can give you um, with alkalines. It'll give you 12 volts, and with rechargeables, it'll be about like 10 volts. And uh, you know, your battery's usually about 3,000 milliamp hours, so it's about three amp hours. So that's that's a lot. Um, and these come with a nice barrel jack. And yeah, there's even an on-off switch right here. There's no LED, but there is an on-off switch, so you can turn on and off. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of batteries. Um, so it's gonna. We have a bunch of like 12 volt devices, and people are like, well, like I want to just have a simple way of making this portable and also last a long time. And like, you know, nothing works much better than just a bunch of AA batteries. I love AA batteries. So. And also know is the battery compartment I squared C compatible. Well, compatible with anything that uses 12 volts. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Current rating of on-off switch looks like a micro switch to me. Um, it's probably good for about an, you know an amp, half an amp. All right. Moving right along to the next one. Uh, we've got um, these were sent in by a customer who suggested these that we stock these, and we tried them out and we fell in love with them. Yeah, these are super cool. Yeah. Do you want to explain what these are? Yeah, they're a little they're a little confusing for because some people are like I don't understand what it does. So it's basically a wire nut but with the snap action lever. So wire nuts, you have to have, um, first off, wire nuts tend to only be good for um, solid core wire. It has to be pretty heavy wire. So, you know, you can twist the wires together and use a wire nut, but it's not good if you have stranded wires or like a mix of stranded and solid. So these are wire nuts, but they're, they have a little lever that snaps up. So they're basically like a quadrant wire nut and terminal block. So you snap the lever up and you can stick up to um, 12, AWG wire or down to 28 uh, wire gauge, which is which is fairly thin. So that's a really big range of wires. Um, pretty much anything an electronics or electrician hobbyist will be handling. And then you can snap them down, and then it's a solid connection. Um, and it's just really fast. And if you ever have to, if you ever a setup where you have to like configure wires and connect them and disconnect them, and you don't want to solder, then these are pretty good. And I can just show it off on the overhead, yeah, showing sure. off the snap action. So this Let's is, go to the other overhead. So this is showing off um, one of the five connectors. We have three and five. So yeah, these little yeah. orange levers. Um, this isn't open. This is how they open. So you can open up one at a time or all of them, and then you can remove wires and then um, stick them in, and then it snaps closed. So here's a couple of quick questions. What does the other end terminate to, or are they all shorted together? They're all connected together. It's like a wire nut. So this is all shorted together into one connection. Can you put three connectors together and make a six? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. They want to know, can you put three, two of the threes together to make a six? Um, you would have to short one to the other. Yeah. So there's no there's no external, you know, they're, they're meant to be safe, so there's all plastic on the outside. So if you want to connect more than five wires, you'd have to get mm -hmm. more than one and then short them together with one yeah. jumper wire. And then next up, uh, does it pierce it or the insulation, or do you have to strip it? You have to strip it. Yeah, if you want, uh, you should probably just use a five if you need more than three. If you want three, yeah, I'd use a five, but they only come in two, three, and five, and I thought the twos were, if you're going to have two, you might as well have three, so we have two and three. Yeah. Yeah, these are really nice. Yeah, and, and they're, uh, they're super handy. And they're up, they're up to 400 volts and up to 24 amps, so, I mean, like, this is... Like, for electric boxes, duty. and I uh, like this, yeah, super handy, super handy. I'm sure we'll use this in a kit. How strong do they hold the wire in there? I'm, I mean, yeah, these pretty, are made. These are made in. These are strong. made in I'm Germany, really, right? Yeah, I'm the, pulling really hard. The Germans don't mess around. Um, and the snap action is quite strong. Like you don't yeah. want to have your finger. Can you put a pound of force? I would say yeah, because you tried to pull. Yeah, that's more I than mean, a pound. That's more than a pound of force. You're very strong. I so I I, I mean I don't know exactly how strong because I don't have a limit, but like mm. I cannot pull this out. Even like wrapping it around my finger. We'll get a we'll get a truck. We'll get, another, we'll, we'll, get, get we'll get another truck. Okay. Okay. They're very, very strong. Anyways, here's some of Not the... Not Yeah, so here's some more of the photos of them. You can we see. We also have um, screw terminal. We call them um, power bus 
Yeah. Connectors. Oh yeah, they're UL rated and all that. They're yeah. Uh, yeah. So we have the we have the big ones that are like literally just a chunk of copper, but these are much more elegant. So if you want up to like, I think the ones we have are up to seven connections, and they can like connect any wire, mm -hmm. but these are much more, I think, useful, more beautiful. Okay. Moving right along. Uh, I think these are kind of the star of the show tonight. These are the beautiful little backpacks that you made. These Matrix backpacks. Yay! Um, a photo of the front and the back, so you could see. But um, they're gorgeous, and I really like them. You want to go to the overhead right away? Yeah, I can show. I can show off what the thinking was, and then I can. I okay. Can my little demo. Let's go to the overhead. So the thinking was that we had these little eight by eight matrix displays, but the problem with them is they have 16 pins that you have to control. And another problem with that is not only do you have 16 pins to control, but eight of them you have to digitally control to control like one row, and then you have to sync all of those to, at the same time. So you need to have like a powerful 100 milliamp transistor to um, short the you know common anodes or common cathodes, whichever one you decide to use, um, to power ground. So you can't just connect all 16 to a microcontroller and hope it goes. It's actually not really good for the microcontroller and they won't be very bright or good looking. Um, so you can use chips like the Max um, 7219, but they're kind of expensive and they're really big, like the chips are like this big. So you have this gigantic chip and a cute little matrix and that kind of sucks. You can do it with 595s, but then you have like three chips before you know it. And there's a lot of wiring and it's kind of annoying. A lot of people have trouble with them. So I thought, I wanted to create some sort of backpack that would go on the back of them, and this is the same matrix. And the backpack would have a chip that does everything for you. And so I tried out a whole bunch of different chips. There's a couple different chips on the market that can do this, and I actually found this one um, worked the best. This is um, a Holtec chip. Holtec is, they actually are really good at making LED matrix drivers. Their um, more popular chips are like the 1632. They also make some encoder chips and stuff, but I've used Holtecs for a while. Um, and they're really good. The only problem is you have to buy direct from the distributor. They don't distribute the DigiKey or Mauser. Um, so this is a chip on the back, and it's a constant current LED driver chip, and it's basically designed to do exactly what is shown here. You connect it up to a matrix, and it has I squared C, and it it's really easy to use. So I have it hooked up here to an Arduino, and I have two matrices together, and I'm going to power this with my ginormous battery pack. Um, so this is a yellow and red. I also have a green one over there. And this is just showing a demo. Um, and these are actually both connected on the same I squared C line. So you can connect up to four of these on one line. There's an address select pin on the back, uh, two pins on the back, so you can change the address. And it's really easy to use. Like we have a library, so you can set the pixels, draw lines and squares and, and little bitmaps and stuff. Um, and basically, it means that you can control this matrix using the I squared C lines on any microcontroller really easily. Um, and they don't add a lot of space, and they add little mounting holes, so that's really good, too. And Someone wants to know if there's a good I squared C tutorial out there. I would say they look at some of the things that you put out there. Yeah, I don't have an I squared C only tutorial, but if you look at the code, it, you know, there is yeah, an example. Yeah, an application, I would say, what your tutorial for these are is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you can look at the code, and it'll, it'll definitely... And you know, compared to the data sheet, and then this is the green yeah. LED. Yes, yeah, so that's yellow and green. Um, I can actually connect all three of them together, but I didn't, I didn't get it, bring enough wires. But so yeah, this is a um, basically just a, a nice little backpack. And so we started with these eight by eight matrices, and then we thought it'd be really good to also do them for a seven segment display. Yeah. So um, just real quick, because someone wanted to see the smiley faces. Here they are. We took photos for the site as smiley faces. We thought that was fun. But um, we'll move on to the seven segments. These are great. Um, I like that you have mounting holes. I like that uh, they're I squared C, so you don't type a bunch of pins. And these are pretty good price. Yeah, so like this it. is the... Um, one, I think the blue one's my favorite. Yeah, but hopefully I have bought a blue one over here. Yeah. Well, I got a picture of it. Um, so this is the the what the backpack looks like. Without... Oh, you want to go to the right? Oh, yeah. I'll oh, okay. I'll go there, right. So this is what the backpack looks like when you get it. And you also get a display. So here's like a display. And then you yeah, basically just have to solder whatever color display you want on top. Or you could you know, separate them and mount this elsewhere if you wanted to and, and pass wires onto it. And then um, on the back there's this larger version of the same chip. And it has three address pins because it can fit the larger version. So you can connect up to eight of these um, seven-segment displays together for a total of, 
I don't know, I guess four times eight, yeah, um, 32 different super bright LEDs. Um, and then here is a demo of it on a circuit board. So these are kind of big. And this is my little demo that just counts up and then blinks all the, the dots. Um, and we also wrote code for this too, so you can actually print um, hexadecimal or decimal numbers to it um, and turn the dots on and off. So it's really easy to use. And they're really, really bright too, which is, which is super fun. Someone wants to know, are there ones that come with the segments already soldered? No, we don't right now because we wanted to make it easy for us to do the inventory. So we sell it as a fully assembled backpack and then you just solder the LED on, but if you want to connect it to the wires, because the, the ice you pinned to the top, you can solder anyway, so yeah. you're going to have to pull out your soldering iron one way or the other. Good chance to use that new Hacko soldering iron that some people have yeah. talked and about. Yeah, and this is the, this is orange-yellow <laughs> color, and then this is your favorite, this is the yeah. blue color. Yeah, we'll have, um, right. we'll have some, some fun Back to the Future stuff, maybe. Regarding yeah, and then I'll this. show the red one off. Can I show the red one? Yeah. Show the red one. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So these these all use the same chip. Um, so the code's really easy to use on, on any of them. Yeah. And yeah, you basically like we really love these matrix displays or seven segment displays, but the problem is is how do you add them to a project without turning it into like a massive you know, wiring mess. So this is our solution to that. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with these. Um, we tried a whole bunch of different chips, and we found that these were the easiest to use and least flaky, and could control the most segments. Yeah. The other thing, it seems kind of silly to dedicate an entire Arduino just to controlling like a little matrix. Like yeah. Like you want this to display some data that is yeah. from something else, and if you're using like all of your space to just control the matrix, it's I kind of yeah. you know it's like um, like character LCDs or TFTs. Like we figured out how to get you know, we have, we have TFTs that are um, like 200 by 200 pixels almost, and they use SPI, so you only need like four lines to control them. So yeah. it's kind of ridiculous when a seven segment display doesn't have that much, it's like, it doesn't have that much data that's displaying, like but you need 14 pins, so it's kind oh, of So wants to know, were these originally intended for clocks, you think? Um, I think they can be used for clocks or for anything. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, you know, I, I, I picked think a lot the of catalogs. scientific equipment. Is yeah, yeah, you know, right. any kind of display. So here's another photo before we move on. Uh, it's back. Mm -hmm. And then there's some other photos. And you could see... So we'll have some... We'll probably use these in some fun projects, but um, we thought that... We saw that a lot of people really liked these matrices, and they kept emailing us with like, okay, well, how do I, I get yeah. this working? And then when we said, well, the easiest way is using a Mac 7 to 19, they're like, dude, you mean I have to spend 10 bucks? And then it's like I still have to do all this wiring and all this work to get it up yeah. and running. Someone wants to know, is there an I2C library that lets you put uh, you know, on any two pins like the new serial lib? There is soft I2C, and actually it, it probably will work very well with these displays because these displays yeah. are write-only. You don't read from them. You only write to them, and so it's actually... Um, you don't even really need to have a, a, a serious I2C interface because... Um, like, you know, all you have to do is look for the ACK and then and then just send yeah. more data. Oh, so. someone wants to know if the backpacks come on solder, too. No, those are assembled. The backpacks are assembled. The backpacks come... You can see. They're all well, assembled. No, I'll show it. I can show it on yeah. the overhead exactly yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, the backpacks are assembled, but you have to solder on the... Yeah, uh, I'll show exactly what it shows up as. Okay. So oh, it looks right. like... This is what the backpack comes as. So the circuit is assembled and tested, so you get all the components. The only thing you have to do is, you know, depending on what color you ordered, you um, place the through-hole parts through here... And then you just solder these pins on the back. Eventually, we might have them where they're soldered on, but honestly, like we want to offer all the colors, and then we didn't want to have a problem where it's like, oh, we had 20 blues but no yellows, and then somebody wanted green. So this way, it's yeah. easier. Usually, for Usually, we colors. launch a product in the kind of the best way possible, and then we'll add tons of variations later. That's, yeah. that's usually what we like to do. Okay. Okay. Great. And so that's uh, the backpacks. yeah, and that concludes new products.